Welcome back to another video guys and today I wanted to share my top 10 dino riders of all time. So this is obviously my um, personal preference and your list will be completely different to mine. And also I wanted to include at least one um, dino rider from series 1, series 2, series 3 and Ice Age. I didn't include any of the figure packs or any other accessories. It's just standard uh, Dino Rider releases. So with, with all that, I hope you guys enjoy this review and let me know what are, what's in your top 10 in the comments below. And number 10 goes to the Killer Warthog. So I really, what I like about this figure and why it's in my top 10, why, why I rated it more than um, the other Ice Age creatures. And the, it's really hard to pick one from another. It's, it all depends on your personal preference. But I, I do like the, the War Dog itself. It is quite menacing with those, with those jaws. And what I really like is that gun. I just love that gun. It's like a huge cannon. And you got the that hose that connects to it. I, that just the look of that, and it just kind of sits on the shoulder of the of the caveman. That's what won me over with this one. So it is a really nice figure. I know Ice Age isn't as popular. Um, negatives with this one again, the gun tip can break, and also the that hose can go missing very easily as it's just kind of placed in there. That's probably the most common piece to go missing. And it would have been nice, yeah, to have extra weapons and all that would have been nice. But yeah, overall, this is a, a really great figure for the Ice Age range. So number nine goes to the Triceratops. And this particular Dino Rider was the biggest Dino Rider that I ever owned as a kid and had a lot of joy playing with it. Uh, it comes with some unique weapons, being that radar dish, and you've got the two seats, and the lasers are adjustable. Great figure, walking functions, uh, not as well armored as the Taurosaurus, but this was a popular Dino Rider in the cartoon as well. So, yeah, the only negatives about this one, actually there's a few negatives. The It seems to suffer a lot from yellowing. Out of all the Dino Riders, I believe of this one in particular suffers a lot. And every, pretty much every component can suffer yellowing. And very fragile as well, like the the guns, the when, especially when you're trying to put the, the red tips in, the guns can split or when you're trying to connect them to the harness and the yellowing doesn't help either. So not an easy Dino Rider to find that doesn't have yellowing. If it's still got its original nice gray colors, not easy to find at all. But apart from those negativities, it's a still a great okay, Number figure. eight, we have the Rulon Quetzalcoatlus with Algar. Now, when you just look at this bird, it's just amazing. Full of weapons. These guns are amazing. I love these guns. And this has to be one of the coolest brain boxes that they've made. Probably second to the T-Rex, I reckon. Um, you've got these bombs that come off as well. And yeah, the figure kind of just goes on the bottom like that, which is a bit unique. I think they saved money there instead of putting a seat. So I think they got away with it. A seat would have been nice too. So I'm kind of happy either way. It just makes it a bit harder to display having the figure on the bottom and you kind of have to um, maybe strap this up and ha have it hanging off a ceiling or a shelf or something. The colorway is grouse, like a leopard. So negatives about this one is a rarity. It's so rare. Uh, very expensive figure and obviously I don't have the box. I, I did have a chance to buy a box a few years ago, but it was still a bit out of my price range. 
And also these bombs can go missing and sometimes the harness can have splits around there or even here, it can be a bit split. But yeah, this is probably the, the best um, pterosaur in the whole Dino Riders line. And yeah, I just wish I had the box, but yeah. Great. Number seven goes to the Series 2 Sorolophus from the Rulon side. And what I really like about this figure, it has the best trap that was included in all of the Dino Riders. So, you know, it's like a rock and then it opens up and then, you know, you, the gun slides out with the laser to, to shoot any unsuspected Valorians. I really like that feature. Also, the dinosaur, he has a nice function as well where you can um, you can use it while it's walking on all fours and it can stand up as well. I really like that feature and then you can adjust the, the chair and you've got that gun that goes around. So it has a really nice, unique armor system there and obviously the the blades on the on the tummy which are a nice little addition so yeah this is a good one i really like this one um the negatives about it um obviously the the guns can break the tips of the guns and the brain box is a bit fragile you can get stress marks or they can it can break a bit easily and sometimes that gun that slides on the back that can um that mechanism can break as well so and also the the gun in the rock that can snap off as well on the on the tip there but overall this is a and number nice six one. we have the edmontania another great figure really well armored dinosaur so they paid a lot of respect because the dinosaur itself was an armored dinosaur they put a lot of armor on the figure as well, which is good. It's like the tank of the Valorian army and it was the, the Dino Rider to face up to the Kentrosaurus. Negativities, you can only fit one figure in it and the guns can break really easily, especially the, the two, the three back guns. They are prone to breaking. But it has a really cool function as well where you pop it up and, and the blades spin and it's well armored you've got guns and so forth it's yeah this is a really really nice figure from from series two at number five we have the taurosaurus now this is really jam-packed with artillery great armor on the taurosaurus comes with gunner as well you got the the side claws, you know, to trip the T-Rex, which is pretty cool. And the best function about this is when you push that lever and it opens up and you've got all those guns ready to shoot the lasers and you've got those two big lasers that when you put a battery in there and it flashes, really, really great. In my, I think from my knowledge, this is the only um, Dino Rider that has light up functions i believe so that was a good addition that they put into that harness and obviously at the back you got those um battle stations where you can put the two figures so truly a great figure it is a another fan loved dino rider and i believe in some people's lists this may be even their number one i was i was unlucky to never have this as a kid so yeah Great, great figure. So number four is Kentrosaurus. This one has a special place in my heart because this is one that I had as a kid. And yeah, I just loved Croc as a character. And the dinosaur itself is pretty cool with the, with the spikes and so forth. You get the nice club at the back and the armor it has that fold action and you can see the lasers there it can fit two characters and has some really nice um, seats as well to put your figures in great figure obviously I'm a bit biased to this one as I had it as a kid or as I just mentioned uh, negativity is about this one um, the brain box is probably the biggest one the brain box goes missing 
the tail club can can go missing as well and you can get some breakages sometimes in the link with the two uh, armored section plated sections connect but overall this is a really nice figure it's the largest rule on uh, figure from series two and it's a great one as well so at number three we have the behemoth itself well wow, the brontosaurus amazing figure it's absolutely huge the biggest dino rider in the whole series the bronto itself is amazing no walking functions as Tyco had to cut costs to make this more affordable when it came out on the market and obviously they um, removed some of the armor as well unfortunately but overall good figure free characters you get uh serena you know she was the main chick in um the dino riders cartoon you get lots of little harnesses little bombs and missiles and little pterosaurs that can drop missiles a lot of good um playability you got the 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 um the crane mechanism you've also got the nice canopy that fits the two figures only negatives about this one is the little pieces especially the harness pieces and the bombs and all those they can go missing and are, and are very expensive on the secondary market also just in general it's rarity very very expensive figure and even with the box it's nearly impossible to find and this box isn't mint but I'm glad to have it in the collection and yeah overall it's a very solid Dino Rider it could have been easily number one but um, this is number three for me and it's truly a an amazing piece it truly is at number two we have the mighty Diplodocus from the Valorians Questar's main dinosaur and what can I say this is truly an amazing figure to some people this may be their number one and it was a really hard toss up between this one and number one I really do enjoy this guy as you can see he's got the the side canopies where you can put your figure with guns guns on the tail guns on the neck you got Questa in that little canopy with the glass really really amazing figure only negatives about this one is sometimes um, that glass piece can go missing it doesn't really it's not that secure sitting in there um, sometimes the guns on the neck can break and obviously you can get a bit of yellowing sometimes inside those um, side canopies but overall it's a bit more of the uh, more stronger Dino Riders with its armor like with breakages and stuff and, and also yeah the tail that ring on the tail gun and the neck gun can break too but yeah it is truly an amazing figure so number one goes to the T-Rex obviously what can I say this is the toy that every kid wanted that I especially wanted when um, Dino Riders was really popular. It's got amazing armor, um, just uh, just menacing, you know? It's, it's the bad guy's, bad guy's baddest dinosaur. It's the T-Rex, you got Krulos. Um, negativity, I would say the colorway. I wish they had the the original color that's on the box with the green and gold like in the cartoon um, the back guns can be fragile like usually it's impossible to find them not glued on to the harness you do get discolorations but it's just full of um, you know full of guns you got the blades on the leg you got the grappling claws it's just a uh, it's no wonder why this is number one and why um, it's so cherished by a lot of Dino Rider fans and usually 
collectors who don't usually collect dino riders and collect vintage toys that they're always on the look for a for a t-rex and yeah i just wish it had a few more figures included but yeah without a doubt this is my number one um just a just a classic you know when you think of dino riders you think of the t-rex